In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way and tutorial for running zone coverage in Madden 23 right now. It's going to come out of the 46 defensive playbook, and we're going to be talking about the nickel 3-3 cub formation. And if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this formation, I'm going to link it in the description. You can get that by joining the Patreon for just $10. You're going to be able to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So make sure to sign up for the Patreon. Again, the link is down in the description. So how do we want to play zone coverage? Um, great question. I think zone coverage is actually probably the most consistent, um, for lack of a better word, way to play defense right now in Madden. And uh, I wanted to give you kind of a, just my defensive system for playing zone and what I like to do. So first, of, first and foremost, knockouts everywhere. Everywhere you need knockouts. You have to have zone knockouts. That is super, super, super important. Now, there are multiple different ways to play zone. Um, I, actually, I actually like to base out of a man play when I play zone and quickly make the zones that I want to make. Um, you don't have to do it that way, but I do think it is helpful because it gives the look of man coverage, but now we're playing zone coverage, right? It helps kind of synthesize things. Um, or you just want to have a play that you can adjust out of. It doesn't have to, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But anyways, um, so the best way to play zone coverage that I know of right now is out of the nickel 3-3 cub formation. I think it's the best defense in the game. Again, if you want to get the full ebook on it, the link is in the description. The audible that we're going to set, we have Mike Blitz 0, we have cover 4 show 2, cover 3 buzz, Tampa 2, okay? You either want to be in one of these four plays. These are the best plays in the formation. Um, this Samuel Blitz play is okay, but I just don't like the way that it aligns, and I think it causes a lot of problems uh, with the way that it lines up, all right? So that's why I like to have cover three buzz, okay? So how do we want to play zone? Oh, one other thing I forgot to say. You want when you when you play zone in Madden 23, one of the things you want to have is you want to have better adjustments from your safeties. The way to get that is to come out in nickel 3-3, and you're coming out in the safety nickel back package. This is going to give us big nickel over G style of adjustments on our top safeties, which is super important. Now, when you put this package on, you need to make sure that your the right players are in the right spots. If they're not, you need to sub them in by just hitting triangle or Y on Xbox and going through and subbing them in. All right, so a little quick tip with that. All right, so how does this how does this coverage work? All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to come out in what if we're if we're running if we're running it out of man, run out of man, you run out of man. If you're running out of Tampa two, the reason I like the Mike Blitz is I just think it gives you the best alignment. Okay, um, so we're gonna run it out of Mike Blitz. So we're pressing. Okay, now really really important. You want to back off your corner. Um, I like to back off both of them. You can actually just back off one of them, um, but you want to back off the corner on the bunch side. That's super, super critical if you're playing bunch. If you're playing tight, I would back them both off. Um, and then what we're going to basically do here is we are going to play what I call roll coverage. Against bunch, it's a little different than against like tight. Um, and so the minor difference is against bunch, you can kind of get away with just putting this left side guy on a third, putting the safety on a middle third, and putting the right side safety on an outside third. So you see how these safeties now can go in outside thirds to their side. Um, then what you can do is you can play cloud with the uh, right side defender there, and then we can actually take a hard flat and we can put a vertical hook. So we can kind of double flat the bunch side, and then we can hard flat this left side here. So, or, or if you want to curl flat in, that's fine as well. Okay. The beauty of this is this is going to take away like, you know, your four verticals play really well because you're that and you're just lurking the crosser all the way across as you see right there pretty solid uh, coverage so again you can create this out of another play if you want to so let's say that you're coming out in Tampa 2 okay you're going to manually back off that bunch side corner and now the adjustment is we're going to third 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 and then we're going to curl flat and then on the right side, you have kind of a choice. You can leave four. You can send four, which will get you better sheds. 
Um, or you can drop eight, which we're going to hard fight the linebacker. So now we have the slot DB and the vert hook. Um, and with no shading, the vert hooks are good, really good this year. You see how they play that really well. Somehow it, he teleported through 15 people, but you've got pretty pretty solid coverage. They're going to have to work. We just want to make people work. That's that's the biggest piece this year. And Madden, defensively, you want to make people work. And zone, what you're trying to get with zone is you're trying to get people to throw you picks. Um, that's why you play zone. It's because you're trying to um, basically outthink them with where you're putting your zones. And so you want a very adjustable zone defense because it's going to change. So like here, if I'm playing tight, I want to back off typically both corners. Um, you don't have to, but I do think it's helpful to back off both corners. All right. So then what we're going to do against tight is we're going to play cover two to the short side and we're going to play cover three of the wide side. So you'll see here, here's cover three. Here's our third, third, third. We're rolling the coverage to the short side, basically. All right. So now in gun tight situations, the big threat is this corner route to the short side. So what I like to do here is we want to have our, our ideally we want to have our nickel corner always in, in vicinity of that so that we can go to Tampa two and, and he see how he's in that vertical hook. So now when we back this up, boom, boom, boom. You want to make sure your user is not in a mid read. It's going to help those vertical hooks play really well. And then you have these vertical hooks that are super valuable. Now, the vertical hook on the right, honestly, probably not going to help you that much. So we're going to hard flat him. But we have a vertical hook on the left and we have a hard flat on the left. So we really bracket, really going to do a good job on the left side. Uh, and then depending on what they do, you know, you're going to be in the middle of the field here. But you see how that vertical hook and the cloud, that backed off cloud is going to guard that really, really, really well. That's why I like to back off my cloud. Um, you don't have to back off the cloud on the on the on the wide side if you don't want to. You can just back off that cloud on the left and then just put the hard flat there. You know, if you want to leave the vert hook on the right, you can. I just think you've got to have flat protection this year. So we're putting hard flats here, and then we're going to come over in here and lurk. And you see how good this is going to do against bench. So that's kind of a, a brief overview of how I like to run uh, my zone defense this year. If you want to learn my complete guide to the 4-6 playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We teach you as zone coverage. We teach you match coverage. We teach you man coverage. We teach you everything in depth. Uh, in that patreon so make sure that you sign up to become a member it's only ten dollars and it gets you access to a ton of ebooks that i guarantee are going to help make you a better madden player so make sure you head down to the description and go check out the patreon